Off road, back on road. <laughs> oh. Oh. Six thousand watt off-road go kart. Almost done. That would be the backup camera. Three sets of lights. We got the fog bar. We got the fog lights on the side. Bong bong. What else we got? And we got the rear lights for the woods and the trails. All the buttons say exactly that. Light bar, spotlight, rear light. That's how much battery power we're running off. These buttons down here, don't forget it's got torque transfer, two different throttles, one for each motor, one motor in this room and one motor in that. So it's double controls. This switch up here, high, medium, low, down is fully high. The two outside switches on the bottom, forward and reverse. The two inside switches is hard start or soft start. And then obviously there's a key. Turn the key on. Got the battery. The motor's at 34 degrees. Battery's at 100%. I missed the voltage. 81 volts. Yep, we snuck a, that e-bike battery back here. oil disc lock brakes which the hose came too short so i end up using the front ones and right now we stopping with our elbows but when the other ones come we'll be back up here another little before i even turn the light on went ahead and gave it the banshee look just because it moves crazily in off-road hopefully i get you a video tonight Got the rear chopped up with a banshee. All air shocks, four air shocks. Two front springs, so it's got a nice suspension. As you see, I will jump on this thing. Last video, we jumped that with it. Um, Camera setup is pretty nice. Got the reverse camera on now. It's got, oh, let's flick that button. Wow. Yikes. Forgot about that with the glass board. Diamond plate still underneath. Through the glass board. The master diamond plate there. This thing moves. 6,000 watts, 80 volt, 72 volt. Forward, reverse, high, medium, low. Only thing I didn't put is the cruise control, and that's because most people don't know how to operate it. You gotta hit the button. Either the brakes can kill it, which I don't never have set up, because I like to do burnouts and willies. And uh, throttle can kill it, so if you crack the throttle again, it'll turn it off, or just hit the button. People panic though, and don't hit the button. But yeah, hopefully I catch a ride tonight for y'all. Do some donuts. Whew, this thing moves. 6,000 watt off-road go-kart. Let me see something. Just went back on the camera screen. It's got lane departure. It's got front camera, back camera, all the files. And you still can watch it while it's on. That's the front camera on right now. Pretty nice. That's the front camera on right now. DVR. Let's tap it. Go back to there. That's full screen front camera. They can all record. I like it. I like it. So watch me tap the throttle. Ooh, that's only one side. Let me tap that side. 
just so it'd turn a little bit. <laughs> Burn out ASAP. Or put it on soft start. That's these two middle buttons. Clack, clack, and low, and low. Now, when I press that throttle, it's not so sensitive. It waits, takes off nice. One flick of the flick, and it takes off like a monster. Woohoo! So, next video will be a ride. Definitely will be. Just had to bring this monster to you, though. This thing's. Oh, I forgot something. These lovely little purple things right there. And if you sneak on the side of this, you press it. I think I just woke my neighborhood up. I like it though. She definitely likes it. This one's a keeper. Fun in the woods. Fun on the streets. Torque transfer. Turn on a dime. Stop on a dime. Definitely, as a gold kart, as the banshee of gold karts. Having drove one like it that can perform like it. Even off road, you'd slip out on the turns that this thing can just monster through just because the torque transfer. And that board is killing it. Hope I ain't forget nothing. Probably did. But I like it. Oh, and yes, you can run all three at once. See how this thing lights up. So you don't even want to stand in front of it. Everything is blinding. We're behind it. So you can see everything. Look front of it or behind if you're in the woods. Turn them lights to the side if you need to. Nice machine though. Nice machine. Battery gauge, temperature of the motors, voltage, and how much is left. That's the battery gauge down to 10 volts. We drawn down to it all that on. Let's see, pop a couple of these off. Watch it jump back up. Back. <laughs> yep. Don't worry, that's a 9 amp hour 12 volt battery, and I could run 18 volt, but it's unnecessary. This battery lasts forever. Like, subscribe, come and watch the next video of this thing on the road.